Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is not for fame or honor, but to serve. Brothers and sisters, what makes you a warrior? That you are willing and able to give your life for one another and for the Kingdom of God even if nobody will see it. You are not called for fame or honor, but you are called to serve, as Jesus served, even without any fame or honor, being spat in his face, being tortured. He was dying for the kingdom. He was giving his life for all of us. And so the warriors in the remnant army of Zion, of new Zion, will also do the same. You will serve the Father as never before, not for fame, <coughs> nor for honor, <coughs> but to serve him as a true son or daughter. As Jesus did, you will walk in the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to continue his ministry, to save the house of Israel, because Jesus came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and so you will gather them together. As it is written in Ruth chapter 4, verse 11 to 12, Leah and Rachel will build the house of Israel, and that you will do through the harvest of the ages. Not for fame, nor for honor. It doesn't matter if you will make it in public or not. When you give your life, and even in the darkest corners, nobody will ever know about it. Your name will never be put in the book of records in this world. It doesn't matter, because your name is already written in the kingdom of heaven. Not for fame or honor, but to serve. That's the reason why the Lord says in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, I have made you kings and priests, because you already have your honor in the heavens as a co heir with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you are called to serve in the holy place as a priest, as the Lord himself, God Almighty the Father, has called Aaron's tribe to be the first priest in the holy place, to serve him. So you will also be a priest under the commander-in-chief, under the high priest, Jesus Christ. It's not for fame or honor, but it's to serve the only living God, to be a true prince or princess of the kingdom of heaven, to know that you came from paradise and that you will return to paradise and that everything what is written in the scripture will be fulfilled to the title, that nothing will be missing, and that you play a role in the end times, that you play a role as the harvesting brides and that you will be so close to Jesus as never before as true brides he will walk with us for 40 days and then we will continue in his footsteps as his image is here on earth and all will be fulfilled and the multitude closed and white will be gathered that will stand at the base of Mount Zion and there it will be ruptured into paradise and eternal life. Brothers and sisters, remember, when you are in a dark place, that it's not for fame nor honor. It is not for you to make yourself a name in the world. It is not for you to be seen as the greatest. Remember always that your name is already written in heaven and rejoice over that, that you are part of the kingdom and that you do not belong to this fallen world. So no matter what this world will do to you, they cannot remove your seat in the throne room. They cannot remove your place in the kingdom of heaven. They cannot take your name out of the book of life. It's not for fame or honor in this world, not for a Nobel Prize, not for for any uh, prizes for achievements or anything. No. 
it is to serve to serve the kingdom of God and to serve the Father as never before to walk as a true son and daughter in the midst of darkness to be the beacon of light and the rock in the storm to fulfill your destiny and you will be sent out by Jesus with all the blessings and resources you need you are chosen because you are not seeking fame or honor you are not seeking to be called a bishop, an apostle, a prophet or anything like that you were chosen because you have volunteered to serve and if necessary to give your life in the darkest places where nobody will see it, where nobody will praise your name, where nobody will put you in the history books of this world. But you will give your life for the one that you will be standing in the gap if necessary. And you will do it because you belong to the kingdom, to the kingdom of God. And you are serving the only living God, God Almighty, who will send you forth into these dark places to set the captives free because he has mercy with all of, it, all of his creation. And he will not allow that Satan will win or nor that he will trap you, his creation forevermore. It is not for fame or honor. Remember that always, brothers and sisters. And when such spirits come in that you seek fame or honor, rebuke them in Jesus' name. Always have in mind the example of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How he served the Father. Copy it. Walk the path of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.